What's going on everyone, man? Before we start this video, I want to thank everyone. We hit the big 7-0, that's right, 70 subscribers, man. Less than a month. We're rolling, the goal is 100 before the new year, before 2020. I know we can get there. So thank you everyone who has subscribed. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments. You all allow this message to get heard to more and more people. So we here, thank you so much, man. Love and peace, everyone. And let's get it! What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, man, Mr. Body by D. Deshaun, right here with another Let's Get It. Yes, Let's Get It inspirational message. Um, I used to uh, um, host this um, awesome radio talk show. Uh, it was called Convocation Radio. And on, and on Convocation Radio, uh, we had a lot, of aut- a lot of awesome guests. I remember when I first started the show, I was like, hey, man, I want to get Francis Ford Coppola, who was the director um, of Godfather. I'm a big time mafia man, as you can tell, big in the mafia movies. So I was like, let me reach out. I like, what does it hurt to reach out? So I reach out to him. Um, I got a reply, which I was like super hype about the reply. I mean, he told me he declined, he couldn't do it, said he was very busy, but thank you for the opportunity. I couldn't tell you like how hype I was to get that no. That's probably the hypest no I ever got. But what that did for me though, it, it took that fear of rejection, of acts of like going after people that I didn't think I could get. Cause I was like, hey man, nothing changed by him not coming. But what I did get though, what I did learn, like, you know what? If I get it, if I put it out there, I may get it. So my fear of rejection got less and less. And because of that, I ended up interviewing people going out to like Eric Thomas, E.T. the hip hop preacher. We interviewed him. We interviewed governors. We had Governor Bob McDonald, a lot of US senators, all these people that we reached out to and um, Ronnie Coleman, bodybuild legend and champion had an opportunity to interview these people because of that first rejection because of that rejection allowed me to be like hey just because he said no don't mean I can get these other people and it took away the fear of rejection you have to realize in this journey of life if you're going to be successful you're going to face rejection Uh, application is going to get denied Um, you're not going to get that credit loan you're looking for you're not going to get that job that you're seeking Something is going to reject you at that moment. But you must realize that rejection is a myth. It's a myth. Nothing has changed in your life just because you didn't get that at that moment. Nothing has changed from you asking for that and you getting rejected. Nothing has changed. You're still at the same point. Now you have the opportunity to step back, hone your skills, like I did after I reached out to Francis Ford Coppola. I honed my skills and it was allowed me to get these other big time guests because of that rejection and what I learned from that. So the same thing with you. We realize that rejection is just a myth. It's a myth. Only power it holds if you allow it to stop you from going out of the things that you want to have because of that no. Just look at it for next opportunity. That's it. Just because you can't do something don't mean you can't do it. Just means you can't do it with that person you had that said no at that moment. But it can get done. You can do it. Rejection is a myth. Remember that. It's like Puff the Magic Dragon. It's a myth. It's not real. It is not real. So I need you to keep going after the things you want. Don't fear rejection and keep pushing forward. Perfect example, somebody who got rejected over a thousand times. Colonel Harlan Sanders which we know is also the man, the recipe for KFC. Today, there's over 19,000 KFCs worldwide locations. This man was well up into his 60s, got rejected over a thousand times, kept pushing because he kept believing in what he had, and he knew he had something. And today, look what we have. Because of his perseverance, a vision where perseverance and faith can go anywhere. Remember, it can go anywhere. Rejection is a myth, a big myth. Do not believe in it. Believe in yourself and believe in faith and keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, 
and keep pushing forward. What you want wants you. And remember, rejection is a myth. Until next time, love and peace to everyone.